Stream game 12, what are we up to? Oh, we're just about to go to that crash, okay. It's a small UFO. Wait, just before we do that, am I missing a radar system somewhere? No. I don't know, for some reason I thought I was. Eh, I don't know. Everything's accounted for. So let's get this done. And apparently two people need smoke grenades as well. Um... I think I might take it out of your hand and put it in your hand instead. Because I want everyone at the front to have smoke grenades out. It's just inconvenient because it means they can't fire properly. And someone else is missing a spare smoke grenade, I think. Maybe not. Oh, he could use a spell. There we go. Oh wow, the UFO is right in front of us. That's super convenient. So I'll stick the tank out here where it's all dangerous. Hello. What do we got? Sectoid. Oh, I think I forgot to put my rookies back. Oh well. I don't remember, it's been a while. Um, I believe in you. Think of the children. There you go. Thought of the children so much he exploded with smoke. Like the UFO looks like it's in okay shape. The power source. Um, I can't tell if it's intact or not, based on that wireframe. That was sudden and unexpected. <laughs> Two fatal wounds. Alright, well, I guess I probably should have smoked that. That's my bad. But I should have smoked here as the priority. Given that that's where the alien is. So, uh, that's, that's awkward. Um... Mm, Hannah, Hannah does not have a med kit. So I guess we'll have to patch them up next turn. We can't really do it this turn. I'm hoping that this is enough that the alien doesn't see us. And I guess even if it does, we might be able to kill him here. With the amount of people that we have. Ooh, no. That, that didn't happen. Sumaya Haddad. You're up. Nope. Okay, we're running out of people who are decent shots. I think Anna's not too bad. 42, okay, she's actually terrible. <laughs> My bad on the memory. But despite that, she managed to actually hit. So, I guess I'll take it. And the rest of the guys... Um... This isn't primes. I might, I'm, I might throw it over here next turn. Uh, the other two will just sort of chill next to the Sky Ranger behind cover. We can breach next turn. No. No. It's two of them. That is so weird. Hi. Uh, that guy has a pistol, so we'll use him for reactions training. Let's heal up our friend. 
There you go. He's gonna be out of commission for a couple weeks when he gets home. Let's give Anna another shot at the um at the heavy plasma. Nicely done. Uh, I'm gonna pull the tank back so it doesn't accidentally reaction fire. And then we'll get a bunch of guys to stand there. And they can hopefully reaction fire that guy. Uh, maybe this guy stands back. Just so he doesn't get shot again, because he can't really survive another shot very easily. So prime that, and chuck it over here. So we're gonna get shot from the building when we breach. Uh, I guess we'll breach next turn. Or like get in position to breach next turn. Just turn the tank around as well. 63 reaction should be enough. Ah, it's busted. No one's home. So that alien over there might be the last one. That's what I'm thinking. Just in case it has a grenade, I'm going to space these guys out slightly. But other than that, they're free to take reaction shots. Once they see anything to shoot at. I don't know where he is. Okay, he retreated a long way back. Yeah, it's the same guy, it's just a plasma pistol. So we'll just walk up, uh, space out a little bit more, because again, don't want to die to um, grenades. And get started on the reaction shooting. Because again, he can't he can't kill us. So, might as well get some reaction training done. And... welcome home. Swimming quarter's complete. Uh, so that means they can get soldiers now. Captain Africa has soldiers already. I think both these last two bases don't have any stores either, yeah. So... Get them the soldiers... and equipment. Not enough money. Jeez, okay, well, let's sell some corpses and stuff. Did I end up buying this? Transfers? No. Um, I might need to restock smoke grenades at uh, Dell. Let me just check the transfer stores. No, I must have restocked them already. Okay. That's fine. Um, that works up suddenly down, so I'm gonna grab some more engineers. Maybe after I sell some stuff. And before I forget, we need to transfer to Antarctica and Siberia. Some laser weapons, which we don't have many of. And some laser tanks. Uh, maybe just one. Yeah, but they really need some more weapons, hey? Um, I guess I'll get rid of some alloys. Just have a short term cash boost.
fighting Central Asia. Nice. Large scout, so it's a, it's the um larger version of a small UFO. What? We engaged it and then it immediately out tried to outrun us. <laughs> That's so weird. I've never seen that happen before, I don't think. Oh, anyway. Need more cash. Mm. Wait, why are we making 14 tanks? What was my plan? Maybe it was to give all the bases 2 to tanks. Which would kind of make sense, I guess. But it's so expensive that I don't think I can afford to do it right now. So... Let's just uh, hold off on that one. I guess you need to shoot that one down as well. Zuno's gonna need to get more missiles. But he should have time. Rearming, okay. Um, actually, we'll just wait a bit. Check how much he has on. Three and one. Four shots is plenty. There we go. Now so let's take off some of our good guys and put on some of our bad guys. Ah, uh, one sergeant, two straight rookies. Actually, mm, one rookie, one sergeant. I don't want to go two knots. I'll take off a captain and put another sergeant on there. I think Hannah has a bit of experience now. We can give some of the Lesses. Some more stuff. Big power suits on these guys. Because we have spares. Might as well give these guys flying suits too. Man, that, that raid on the landed UFO has been so good for us. Actually, let's go to the other one first. The other one's, um, lower threat. Because we shot at it more. Good, good. Nothing. Still nothing. Not even the UFO. That's unusual. And again, I'm gonna let my guys... ...stay on, um, ground level. So they can take advantage of the smoke cover. smoke grenades here. A bit of a gap there, but the smoke will dissipate and should cover it soon enough. Um. Ah, why the hell not? Let's not chuck it, because we don't have enough time units. <laughs> Next turn, maybe. We'll see how the smoke goes. If it dissipates by next turn, obviously we don't really need it. Mm. 
and over here by your friends. A decent amount of movement. Quite a decent amount of movement. Wow. Those are some really good shots for someone who's one-handed. 42, you just got lucky, you're not even a good shot. <laughs> that is crazy. Spread my guys out so I have slightly better vision. There is some cover at the top of this um hill, so With this much movement, we are seeing very little. Well there's the affair. Given that that's the um, expected hotspot, I'll move everyone else up on the south side slightly more. And angle everyone so that they're closer to the UFO. So like that, yeah. And Mr. Thank you can keep exploring like a good tank. Still a decent amount of movement. That is going in and out of the UFO. It kind of seems like they are at this point. <laughs> Casual float. <laughs> like it's no big deal. Actually, slightly. Further up. Hmm. Still nothing. Right, that area is clear. Start advancing the lion. Hello. I got the tank to spot. And everyone else can shoot it. Now it really does have experience. How's your shooting? Pretty good. Your actions are pretty poor though. How's your shooting? Not bad. Right, you could use the... Uh, oh. Well, you hit something. Probably just the ground, but... 
better than hitting nothing at all. If only just. Mr. Tanky. Just chill there. Everyone else will vaguely have a line formation as we approach the UFO. Hmm. He's shot by something I can't see, even though there's no smoke. It's unusual. Oh, he's floating above. Alright, who else wants experience? You're not doing too bad. You're okay. You're okay. Now uh, you're okay, but your reactions suck. Sure, Kobe. Do the honors. Nicely done. Things to move forward slightly. Oh, there's another one. Alright, Kobe, you're up again. If I can find you. Ah, uh, you only snap. Well, take the snap if you can. Nice. And these guys will advance slightly. I don't want the UFO guy UFO guys um getting too close just so they don't get Shot and killed. That's not really where I wanted you, but I guess you guys can swap places now. <laughs> Heavy plasma. Oh no, it's a plasma pistol. Okay, so yep, no no damage. Excellent. That's also a pistol. So what I might do is take the uh take the guys with the worst reactions. Fifty nine's too high. Forty one's good. And move them forward a little bit, not too much. Thirty three, that's good. Thirty one, excellent. Fifty nine's high ish, fifty five's high ish. Thirty one, all right, you're up. All of you guys start shooting. Everyone else fall back slightly where you can still support if you need to, but like. You're not going to accidentally get the shot.
<laughs> Splitter is not very accurate. He destroyed my cactus. That's pretty rude, actually. Well, they seem to be lightly equipped, so I'm gonna take a risk and make everyone just like look at the UFO. Oh, the bad reaction guys. We just got some reaction training. Oops. Tried to click the end turn button, but that clearly didn't work. It's a stun grenade, or grenade, stun launcher. How stunned are you? Not very. <laughs> He's just gonna run out of ammo. I'm just gonna walk forward and die. That works for me. The power source was intact. Excellent. And no one took any damage, so we can go straight to the next site. <coughs> Exercise caution, there may be operators in the UFO or around the crash site. Who isn't carrying an electro flare? Bart Jacobs, I believed in you. And you betrayed me like this. Oh, your foe's right there. And I think that's a corner. Yes. Excellent. Uh tank will cover the non UFO area. I'll get the humans to cover the UFO. And the surrounding location. That looks like a building. Hmm. Um. I got these guys to prep next to the hedge. These guys will sort of just split up around the hedge. I might get the um, final four guys to go to the other side with the tank. So they can have some training if the tank, um, if the tank finds anyone and give them the kills instead of giving them to the tank or just not firing back. Because you don't need 10 people to breach the UFO. There's someone at the UFO, there's someone outside at doors, and there are doors here, so something to keep in mind. Also doors there. Thanks, sweet dude. Come down. At once. Oh, yes. I don't really want to shoot that guy just yet. I'm really surprised the tank didn't see me though. What's he packing? That looks like a heavy plasma, so the tank is actually in legitimate danger of being killed. Unfortunately. You know what, shoot the tree. I was hoping it would completely be destroyed, but that's okay, I guess. It's completely destroyed now. I 
next to him. Thing's not dead yet. Getting close though, surely. Yeah, it's not too injured. Right, who needs experience? You're not doing too bad. You're not doing too bad. You're not doing too bad. You could use it the most. Excellent. 16, no. It's enough for a snap. It's a ground level. Interesting. What are your reactions? 36. Yours are 38. Okay, so if he didn't get shot, this guy probably won't get shot either. Alright then. And tank in front. To tank the shots. Ha 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 ha. You'll just chill there, in case someone's actually around. And you guys will chill there. And smoke that. Not enough time units, never mind. Wait, what? Yes. Um, Kobe, take the shot, why not? So, UFO, no ex outside doors, so outside likely to be clear after killing this many guys. Uh, it's just a stun launcher, it's a really low threat. I might get. He doesn't really need the training, Kobe still does. Bam! Mm, got there eventually. Might as well just line the guys up for a firing squad now. Get these guys to cover them in case something's in the building or I don't know what else. And I'll just space these guys out a little bit so that um, they have better lines of sight. Alright. And a firing squad. We'll get Tank to be the outside dude. These guys will just cover the building slightly more aggressively. <coughs> okay, there is someone in there. Interesting. Um, I can't tell what gun that is. But in any case, this guy will take the shot. He doesn't have any time units. Oh, it's a heavy plasma. No one's coming to say hi. You guys don't want to come out and get shot? Surprising. Right. Well, that's happening. I think we'll just have some fun outside. Hmm. 
Hmm. Still not coming out. Maybe it's like a medic or someone with a stun launcher. So they're not looking for combat. Nope, that's someone with the heavy plasma. That's some good reactions training, boys. Excellent. Oh, and the power source is intact. That's wonderful. Still some of these alloys. Could use the money. Wow, we picked up a lot of small launchers recently. Mm, yeah, I'll still keep selling some heavy plasmas. Got a lot of spice, some more engineers. Alien harvester. More. Central Asia. Um, well, we can build laser cannon, laser cannons, plasma cannons soon, so that's not much of a concern just yet. I think he has enough to shoot that down. Based on how long it took him to complain about the fact that he ran out of missiles. Where are you going, dude? Yeah, he's five. That's plenty. Um, yeah, let's go to that. Let's quickly check my stockpiles of smoke grenades. <laughs> we have so many aliens. Still plenty. Good. I don't know why we have so many though. We have three sectoid leaders. Like, what are we supposed to do with them? Can't research them. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Seems like a waste. Don't worry, I know. Let's go, boys. Uh, so we're gonna need to rush through that, um... Plasma beam. Wow. He is nearly dead. <laughs> His firing accuracy is abysmal. Now that he's been shot like that. Or tank. All he wanted to do was... wow. It was going on, and they shot at him many times. Fortunately, that last one was just a pistol, so it didn't do anything. It's your lucky day. Take him out. Good effort. This guy could use some experience as well. Take him out. There's a third guy in the room. Wow. Alright. Kobe. You could still use some experience, surprisingly. Get nearly out of the way so that this guy can get some experience as well. Kabam. And the floater is gone. But seriously, we do need to um, smoke out. Those are gonna die. <laughs> Not die, we're gonna get shot at. If we don't smoke out. A lot of space. That's leaving me feeling a lot better. Having that smoke cover down. So 
So two teams of four flank suits, and then there'll be two uh, power suits, just as like the backup force. There's four guys in the room. Holy shit. I hope this guy's okay. No, he's fine. No, uh, it looks like a rifle, if I had to guess. Get Kobe to try and take the shot. I don't know why it spawned four people in one room. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, one other benefit of flying is that you're not affected by grenades. Alright. Let's open this up for the tank. That'll do. And off we go. There's the UFO. Alright. So I'll split this into two sub teams with two flying. Well, okay. Two flying suits and two power suits each. Well, two power suits, one power suit each. So the flying suits will go at the front and the power suit will be at the back where he's less likely to get shot. I might get these guys to keep floating, actually. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in that corner there. They can be the UFO breach team, I guess. And everyone else will cover outside. Well, that wasn't what I was hoping for, there, buddy. That'll do. We can just check that. Clear. Perfect. Onwards. Onwards. Tanky, onwards. Such a good tank. Right, there's not really any outside left to cover. Maybe that's why they all spawned in that random building. So, I'll just chill and my breach squad will get ready. And hopefully not die while breaching without backup. Realistically, the alien should notice that, hey, there's people walking on our ceiling, our roof. But not the deaf. So there's nothing to worry about. Alright, down we go. Breach, pretty well, not breach yet. Get ready to breach, get ready to breach. Might get some reactions training in there, hopefully without dying. We should bring more guys. Just in case. Anna's. Be fine. Do I here? Time to get over there. Ran out of energy. Wow. Okay. That's unusual. Um. I'll get these guys to run over as well. They're gonna take a while. This guy? Yeah. He has a lot of energy because I didn't make him sprint. 
It just meant the trade-off was he had no time units when he got there. If we get ready to swap to the other side, I might pull these guys back a couple squares just so that everyone has good line of sight. I just want this fourth person to actually be able to shoot things. I'm, I think he can from there. I don't think he can from the other spot. All right, and I pull these guys back as well, just so they're a bit safer. And then we'll just wait and get some reactions training in, hopefully, in a fairly low risk environment. I mean, we're fighting aliens. I guess there's never really low risk. But, relatively speaking, low risk. I hope they're not outside. No, we did hear doors, I think. Like, alien... alien doors. Yep, there we go. And there's our training. I think two of our guys have two high reactions, though. 36... 55, yeah, 55 is gonna shoot all the time. Might get them to waste some time units. So they don't get in the way of our other guys. 59 is too high. Because the reaction shots are based on. Um, oops. Reaction shots are based on the time units you have left over. And your reaction stat. So if you have a lot of time units, um, like if you have all your time units left over, then it's like, I think it's a one multiplier on your reaction stat, and then I think it's proportionate, proportional, proportionate to like your percentage of time units left uh, times your reaction. That's a grenade. <laughs> 